hopefully you can still hear me okay with, um, I have a heater on over here. Let me see if it says anything about my mic. Yeah, you'll still be able to hear me. Okay guys, today we're doing something different. We're going to do some stretches. So, this is for active recovery. First, we're going to do some body resets. So what you're going to do is come onto your hands and knees. My watch, I just have been working out, so this will be perfect for me too. So you're gonna be here on all fours. We're going to go head on it, be sure your eyes move with you. So my eyes are controlling the way my head is going. Be sure to breathe here, in through your nose, out through your mouth. So we're going to do these um, in the beginning, and then we'll do them again, but in a prone position at the end. Let me make sure I'm not crooked because I, I feel like my camera looks crooked, but it also might not be. It might just be my laptop on an, an even surface. Cool. So, next we're going to do a drill called Find Your Shoes. You're still going to be on hands and knees. Your head's going to be here. You're going to look back, find your shoes, come up, chin up, chin up, eyes up, eyes up, eyes, and look to the left. So you're, again, your eyes are leading the movement. to breathe.
see if you can put your knees a little bit wider and then sit back into your hips just a little bit wider. stretch kind of like your shoulder blade area that connects to your neck or not shoulder blade your shoulder muscle right here so you're going to take your hand and ever so lightly you're going to look like down towards your armpit almost to the bottom of your uh, hip and you're just going to pull very lightly you should feel that a little bit deeper and kind of like not the back of your neck and not the side but kind of like in the middle Good. Other side. Good. We're going to redo those three stretches again. So back of the neck. We're going to hold each stretch for about 30 seconds to a minute. Side. So I'm going to take my left finger and look down to the left. I'm going to take my left hand, place it on the top of my head, and then look down at my left hip. Other side. So for 
over the back of your shoulders. You're going to intertwine your hands. And you're going to round your upper back. should feel this pulling, kind of like right here. If your hands are too low, you won't feel it. So if you need to go up higher on your spine, I'm in between the bottom of my top and the top of my pants. That's where I feel it. I, obviously, everybody's going to be different because range of motion when it comes to stretching. It's very different for everyone. We're going to take our arm, our left arm, we're going to cross it across our body, take our right arm, hook where your elbow is, but the key here is to pull down. This will also get the backs of your shoulders. So now my right arm is coming across my body and I'm pulling with my left. And again, I'm pulling down. So you could be here, you can see my shoulders raised. I'm doing this and I'm tucking my shoulder into its spot. We're going to repeat those two again. So intertwine your hands. Now I'm going to take my left arm across my body, hook it with my right, and pull down. And switch. Next, we're going to do a T-spine rotation. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a wide leg stance. You're going to keep your right arm on the ground. You're going to take your left elbow and open and hold. Come back down. Open. Make sure your eyes and your head are following your left elbow up. to do the front of our shoulders here. So you're going to have a seat on the ground, place your palms on the ground, and you're going to lean back. This will get your chest and the front of your shoulders. Lastly, for this uh, three-part sequence, you're going to need a door frame. You're going to place your arm on here and step through. 
So try not to turn out like this. You want to be forward and lean into that stretch. Whatever arm you're stretching, actively stretching, is the leg that's forward. I'm going to take this one just a little bit higher and really get pec minor, and you'll feel that stretch. Other side. I'm going to take it a little bit higher here too, just to make both sides even. We're going to go back to that T-spine rotation. So you're going to have a wide stance. You're going to come down. We're going to do our left side. So left fingers behind your ears. Open. And back down. Other side. To sit down, stretch the, the front of your shoulders and your chest right here. Lean into that, keep your elbows in. Good. Coming back to that chest stretch. Palm and forearm on a wall. And step through. Up. And switch. So now I'm stretching my left. I'm going to step through with my left foot. And, um, oh, let me see the time. Okay, we're doing good on time. We're going to do our lower back, more of our chest, and then also one more shoulder one. So what we're going to do is come onto the ground and lay down. You're going to take your right leg across your body. And if your foot can't touch or your knee can't touch, you can do it at 90 degrees. That's totally fine. Mine can't. Okay, we're going to switch to the left. This floor is so cold. Step away from the wall 
you might have to gradually step closer and closer. And we're switching. So now we're going to go back to the ground. I'm going to put my coat down this time just because the floor is freezing. I need to bring a yoga mat over here. I just keep forgetting in the process of moving spaces. So there we go. We're going to lay down. Again, right leg, 90 degrees, and then we're going over. Switch. So now you're going to bring your left knee up and leg across your body. to that wall. So, create a C with your hand and place the other wall if you have one. Good. Switch. So the second time through these stretches, we're not going to hold nearly as long. First time we're holding closer to a minute. Second time we're holding closer to 30 seconds. Um, but the second time we should have a better range of motion. So next we're doing a stretch called thread the needle. You're going to lay back down on your mat floor and you're going to put your left ankle on your right um, thigh and then pull the back of your right leg. Feel this in the outer part of your left leg. Good. Switch. My right side, I have an injury on it, so I'm not as mobile on that side. Um, as you can see, my left, my left leg could get completely flat, but this right leg can't do that. Good. Next, I have this band right here. I'm going to, can you, yeah, you guys can see. I'm going to take the band, put it on the middle part of my foot, and straighten it out. My right leg is on the ground. We're going to flex our left foot, and it doesn't take much, so I just flex my left foot. The goal is to keep your knee straight with your foot flexed. And you'll feel a slight stretch in the back of your leg right here. You'll almost feel a stretch all the way through your calves, which is kind of nice. I have really tight calves. And you don't want tight calves. That is headed toward a torn Achilles, which is a very painful surgery to recover from my hand. So same thing. Try and straighten that leg and flex that foot to the best that you can. The second time through, you should be able to pull your arms a little bit closer. Not much, but a little bit. Obviously, the goal at the end of the 
if incorporating this stuff like over the next four weeks is to be more flexible. We'll have videos for proof. We're going to go back to that thread the needle. So left ankle is on top of your right thigh and you're pulling the back of your right hamstrings close towards your chest. Remember to breathe through these stretches. Other side. your band, place it on the middle part of your foot, just like we did before. Also, you want to keep in mind, have your hips square. So you don't want your leg out here or like over here. You don't want that. That doesn't make your hips square. You want your hips to be completely square. Next, we're going to do a similar move to thread the needle, but this one will get even further into your glute. So placement is the same thing. You want your ankle to be on your right thigh. And we're just going to do this one super quick, just as like a little extra added stretch. to stretch our quads. So place your left foot in your left hand and push into your left hand and squeeze your left butt cheek. Good. Switch. Same thing on your right side. Last one is calves. You're going to go into a downward dog and you're going to bend your right foot and knee and then stretch your left foot all the way straight. So I'll show you from the side. You're going to be here. So you're, you're actively stretching your left side. Now switch. to the ground. That outer glute stretch just one more time. And switch. We've got quad stretch. So do my left side first. Remember to breathe through stretches. One more time for those calves. Down for dog. I'm stretching my left side first. And our right. And 
and we are completely done. So, Firefighter 1009. Um, so, we, uh, everybody that does this account trains uh, in Kentucky. So, if you're local, um, then you can, uh, you can come and work out with us if you're local to Kentucky. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, so, the gym... Um, let me, is there like a way that I could maybe give you, um, in Flatwoods? Oh, so we're, we're in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know if that's close to Flatwoods. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, we stream on here every single day. So I'll be on here Monday through Saturday. And then we have some other girls, um, too, that come on here and stream. So this is like a great way for you to get, I guess, more personal training. You can do the workouts live or you could do them uh, later in the day. Just watch, do it watching like a replay. Um, that's a great way for you to... Um, be personal trained basically um, yeah and we have a YouTube channel too it's called CSS wellness um, I'm pretty sure so that is that and let me see oh you play football and basketball for Kentucky Okay, that's all. I'll be back tomorrow.